What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Look, all I got is sports for y'all today. Let's go. All right, now we got Xavier Worthy, big time receiver at Texas. He had a great career at the University of Texas. He caught 197 passes for 2,755 yards. He had 26 career touchdowns, and he averaged 14 yards of reception for his career. So he can get deep. And right now, he's the talk of the NFL combine because he ran the fastest 40-yard dash at the NFL combine. He ran a 4 one that's the fastest time ever. The old record was, what, 4-2-2? Two, two? And John Ross ran that a few years ago? Oh, well, more than a few years ago. But it was an NFL bust. As we know, being blazing fast doesn't mean you're going to have a great career. Now, it will get you pushed up in the draft. And that's what happened with John Ross, smaller wide receiver, uh, but he had top end speed. And he went in the first round in the NFL draft. But he was terrible in the NFL. Over the course of five NFL seasons, he didn't even gain 1,000 yards of receiving. I believe he gained 962 yards. He had 11 touchdowns. He caught 62 passes. Now, he did have a couple of injuries. But as of right now, I read that he retired. Then I read that he's making a comeback. So now, it might be a complete opposite for Xavier Worthy. Like I said, he's a big-time player in Texas. But he's not the biggest wide receiver. But he's got good hands. He can get deep. He can run routes, play in the Big 12. He has talent. Let's see if that's enough to make him a great NFL wide receiver. Only time will tell. But congratulations on being the fastest player ever at the NFL Combine. Now, Michael Penix Jr., he looked great throwing the football, but we, we knew that already. He was throwing the wide receivers he'd never even seen play or heard of. And his deep ball's a thing of beauty. Now, we all know what quarterbacks are going first round in the NFL draft. You got Drake May from North Carolina. You got Caleb Williams from USC. You got Jaden Daniels from, from LSU. You also got J.J. McCarthy. They're saying that he could be a top 12 pick. Because he's 20 years old, he has a strong arm. He can run. You got Bo Nix. will probably be a second-round quarterback. But if you want somebody to throw that ball accurately, as mature and older, only not going to miss the injuries, you got to seriously consider the draft. Michael Penix Jr. in the first round. But at the end of the day, the NFL uh, scouts, they're going to go about what you did on the field. Everybody look good in shorts, T-shirts. Everybody looks good in the, at the Underwear Olympics. Now, in other news, LeBron James, uh, he scored his 40,000th career point. That's a big deal. He's the first to do it. But you know what is more impressive? 21 years of basketball, averaging more than 24, 25 points a game and being fourth on the career assist list. Fourth in assist. Now, of course, people are going to say that he's four and six in the finals. Michael Jordan never lost any NBA finals. Jordan is six and, six and zero in the NBA finals. Jordan repeated twice. Michael's an all-time great player. I'm not taking that for Michael Jordan. But LeBron James is 39 years old. He had 21 average and 25 points a game. Eight rebounds. We've never seen that before. We'll probably never see it again. And as far as passing LeBron's scoring record, I mean, Luka have to play another 15 years 
and averaged around 25 points a game. Devin Booker had to play another 14 years and averaged maybe 26 points a game the past LeBron. And LeBron will probably um, sign a three-year deal after the season, and you're going to have to drag him off the court the same way Tom Brady left the NFL. Well, he's just tired. Can't do this no more. So the players coming up, they're going to have to really put their work in. They're going to have to really take care of their body. But LeBron James will probably retire being second in assist and 45,000 career points. Not to mention, by the time he retires, he'll be probably top 25 in rebounding in the history of the NBA. Maybe top 20. And you got other people say, well, he's playing in a soft NBA. He ain't been soft for 21 years. It's still not easy to score 25 points a game for your entire career, or 28 points a game for your entire career. It's not easy. You play 100 games a year and be durable, be healthy, and be present. Think of all this hate and backlash. He ain't retired two times and take breaks during his career. He never did that. Only blemish was the Dallas Mavericks championship series where he mentally checked out and he was not sure of himself. Then he came back and was even better, stronger, more efficient. Became back a better basketball player. He was mentally tougher. Look, I know these guys are going to only watch like 45 seconds of the video. And I went on the record to say that my GOAT is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar because he's won at every level. High school, three titles. College, three titles. College, he was three-time player of the year. He won six NBA championships in, in the NBA. He was a six-time MVP in the NBA. He used to be the all-time scorer. He's top five in career rebounds. Minutes played. Kareem was just a monster. We don't talk about Kareem because all people say, oh, he just had a skyhook. He was boring. And he's not selling sneakers and all this other stuff. Just don't judge being the GOAT on championships. You got to be asked, you have to be able to ball. And Kareem was able to ball. And he accomplished more than any player in the history of basketball. So that's why he's my GOAT. Look, I'm going to holler at you guys later. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. It's Corner Sports Net.